Welcome to your blogging era. In this video, we're going to go over how to get your blog set up, how it works, and how to edit the design, adding the Yoast SEO plugin to your WordPress account, how to add blog categories, going through an example blog post together, and how to add more blogs to the design. So one of the first things will be getting your blog set up. So to do that, you're going to go to site settings or connect your domain. They both take you to the same place. And then right here, we're going to click edit. Our domain is already connected, so we're going to use some show it help docs. Here is launching your site with a new blog. So we just did this process. We're going to click edit. From here, you're going to answer a few short questions about your domain name. Answer the questions, you'll click next. Add your number, any additional notes here, click submit. Now this is the next part where you proceed to get your blog set up. If you've never had a blog before, you're gonna click set up new blog. If you currently have a blog through Squarespace or WordPress, you're gonna select migrate existing blog. From here with a new blog set up, you're gonna click submit. From here, the Show It team will set up a new WordPress blog for you and reach out once it's completed. Then you can point your DNS to show it in your domain registrar account. So this is gonna be wherever you purchased your domain name. This could be GoDaddy, Bluehost, Google Domains, Squarespace, Wix. We will have this doc linked below. These are step-by-step instructions depending where you purchased your domain name from or you can also select I need help. Either way the show it team is so kind and so helpful. After you update your DNS settings be sure to message the show it support team to apply the SSL certificate. This is where you'll get a little lock icon next to your URL. It is securing your site. Once you submit all this info to show it, keep in mind it typically takes two to five business days. It's always been shorter than that from my experience, but it can take a couple of days to get everything set up. If you are migrating your blog from Squarespace or WordPress, there are a few additional steps. The first part is still asking you the same questions. But when you get to step five here, you're going to select if you currently have a blog at this domain, number additional info, click submit, proceed to blog setup, and then right here, select migrate existing blog. From there, you'll click next, add in your domain name, and then be sure to double check you provide the right login credentials before clicking verify. Then you'll select yes and go to next. Any additional info and then click submit. What happens next? The show team will migrate your blog for you and reach out once it's completed. You will then update your DNS settings to point to show it in your domain registrar account. From there, be sure to message the show it team to ask them to apply the SSL certificate. If you currently have a show it site and do not have a blog, you can also message the show it support team. Just be like, hey, I want to get a blog set up. They can also help you get started as well. Next, we're gonna go over how it works and how to edit the design. So you get to use the power of WordPress blogging and the creative freedom of show it when it comes to the design and layout of your blog page. So we are on blog, we're gonna go into the page. We have blog categories, which we'll go over shortly. So we'll leave those there for now. Post layout one. So this, think of these as placeholders. You can come in here and swap out these photos. Um, however, you will be setting anything to do with your actual blog as far as adding the photos, 
the words setting a featured image, that's what this is called. All of that will be done in WordPress. These are all the placeholders within Show It. You'll notice these little canvas views. If you do want to make any edits, you want to make sure all of these items stay within this canvas view. That is how WordPress and Show It will also communicate with one another. So the things you can change, we can swap out this photo just so that it is your own work in here. We could also make the size of this photo could be bigger. We could change the text here. So this is where your post categories, when you select your category within WordPress, it will populate in this blue box. Think of your blog categories too as a way to showcase the type of work you want to book more of. So this could be weddings, elopements, brands, lifestyle, anything like that. And then here is your blog post title. This, you will write your post title in WordPress and it will populate in this space. The things you can change are the actual color of the blog post title. Um, we could change the font altogether. We could change the size. If you do increase the size, you'll notice the text gets cut off. We have the overflow set to crop. So be sure if you do want the text bigger that you come in here and extend this blue box. Truly, this could go in a different position. Maybe you want it like lower. We could have it actually go right on top. So you could really play around with the layout too and customize it. Same thing for this one. We'll just want to make sure that everything that is in view two remains in view two. So if we want to change the photo, we can make that bigger. We could change the text style here. This could be a different color. This could be a different font altogether. You're going to have the same customization options. And again, you'll also have mobile. So if you did want to change anything on mobile, you can do that here as well. You'll do the same thing with each canvas if you do want to change them. We just want to make sure all of these items that are in a canvas view stay in the canvas view itself. If you make any big changes, you'll want to update the category page. So how this works is you'll add your blog categories, which we will go over that shortly. For example, if category one said weddings, and we selected it, we're gonna see this category page and all of these blog posts are going to be blog posts that have the weddings category selected. It's such a great way for your dream clients to look through your work and also see what kind of photos do I get with a wedding gallery? What is the process like? How do I find locations or vendors? Like. All of that information is so helpful for potential dream clients. If that's the case where we really change the blog design here, I would duplicate this page. We're going to delete this page so we can go through, delete it. This one I would rename to category. And then underneath template info, under WordPress template, we're going to select category. That would only be if you make a lot of different changes. It'll save you time so that you don't have to come into the category page and literally copy every single edit. So this would save you time. Now, for example, when somebody's on your blog page and they click a blog post, they're going to be taken to the single post page. So whatever photo you have here, so this is the featured image that you will set within WordPress. And when I click this blog post, I will see the same image right here. This is also my featured image. Within this page, you could change the size of the photo. This could be bigger. The category itself, we can change the color here. We could change the actual font, the size, the same thing here, if you change, you'll notice it gets cut off. We do have it set, the overflow set to crop. So just be sure 
to extend this blue box and then create some more space in here. And then we have the blog post title. Again, now these are all placeholders. So you're actually gonna write the blog post title within WordPress and it will come into this area and it will be designed like this. Here we could change the color, we could change the font. All of the normal customization features you have are gonna be right over here and you would be able to apply those. Next, you're gonna see this canvas. This is where all of your post content will appear. So in WordPress, you're gonna add in text describing your blog and then you're gonna add in all of your photos it will appear in this canvas. So this specific canvas is set to grow with content. This means this canvas will automatically extend and everything will be placed in here. Next, we have comments. We will have the comments load here so people can leave comments on your blog and your comment form will appear here. If you don't wanna have comments, you can simply come in here and hide these. If people do comment, you will be answering those comments within WordPress. And then we also have a site canvas here with your next posts. This will show newer posts and older posts so people can keep clicking through and see more of your work. So once you hear from Show It after you've submitted to set up your domain and blog, you will get access to your WordPress account. So one way that you can access that is going to your name down here, go to manage account. From here, you'll see your blog admin. So we'll be able to select that. And then we're gonna open up our design app again, go back to our blog page. All right, so this is what WordPress looks like. This is our dashboard. One of the first things we're gonna do is add the Yoast SEO plugin. So this is helpful in improving your search engine optimization. What we're gonna do is go to plugins and you should be able to see the Yoast SEO plugin here. And all you have to do is click activate. If you're not seeing it, you can come over to add new and then search Yoast. It will appear and then you'll just be able to click install now. When we go over an example blog post, we'll go over the Yoast SEO plugin specifically with a blog post. Next, we're going to go over how to add blog categories. So if we look at our show it design, we're on the blog page. We're going to go to blog categories. This is a site canvas. So think of our categories. These are going to be the types of sessions that you want to book more of. So for example, let's do weddings. So we'll type that in here. We're going to go back to WordPress. We're going to go to post, click categories. This is where we're going to be adding all of our categories. So we'll go to weddings. The slug will be all lowercase with no spaces and click add new category. From here, we're going to copy this slug, go back to show it, and then we're going to go to click actions. We will keep all of this here and you're going to add in the slug. So I'm going to paste that right here, click off. And we'll keep repeating the process to add all of the categories. Now, for example, let's do something with two words. So we'll do mentor sessions. We're going to go to WordPress. This slug will be all lowercase with no spaces here. And we'll click add new category. I'm going to copy this. So it needs to be exactly what we put in WordPress is exactly what we need to add to show it. So we'll go to click actions and then we're adding that here. And you'll keep repeating this process. 
if you're like hey i have more than four categories awesome so we can add that in right here we'll pull the search bar down and i'm holding down shift to keep it in the same position for category four we'll click duplicate i'm gonna pull i'm gonna select both here so i can left align and on the desktop version pull this down I'm going to select both, left align. From here, then I can actually select all of the categories and go to distribute and make sure all of these are equal. Next, for the one we just added in, this could be, for example, our next one, elopements. And we would do the same process. We're going to go to WordPress and we would add elopements. The slug will be all lowercase with no spaces and click add new category. From here, we'll copy the slug, go back to show it, go to click actions, and then paste elopements, click off. And then from here, I would bring search blog back up. On desktop, we have it over here. So you'll do that to add in all of your blog categories. Once we have all of the blog categories in on the blog page, we'll come back to the blog page. There's another category we have to add, which if we look at our home page and we go to the page, we have a featured blog section. So we need to add the category called featured. The slug will be all lowercase and click add new category. If we look at our homepage within the blog canvas, this is saying, we'll show it is telling WordPress, hey, we need you to look up a couple of blog posts specifically with the featured category slug and we need four blog posts. So when we go to actually write a blog post, we will select the four you want on the homepage to be selected so that way they show up on the home page. Moving on, we're going to go over how to write a blog post. So we're going to go to WordPress. From here, post, we can click add new or up at the top, we can click the plus sign and then click post. Here, we're going to add the title. So if we look at our show it design on the blog page, So this blue box is about the size that we have for our blog post title. So I could copy this and paste this in here. So I know I have roughly this many words for a blog post title. This is also a good place to add in your keywords. So I'm thinking let's do Austin, Texas, in the mm, by Lake. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, this is, like we said, this is such a great place to add in those keywords as far as location, the type of session, um, another, like if it's a well-known venue, I would add that in here. Um, whatever you're thinking that your dream clients would be searching to find this blog post, that's kind of a nice rule of thumb to move forward with. Then right here, we're going to start typing our blog post and we recommend anywhere from 300 to a thousand words this is super helpful to actually add words to your blog post think of this as another way to provide value to your dream clients and really add in those keywords as far as location um the type of session any other vendors, anything that pertains to the story you're telling here that would also provide value for 
your dream clients is going to be super helpful here. If you're finding yourself getting stuck on the words, there is a nice resource that we use called Chat GPT. Here we could ask, this is a free resource, you'll just sign up with your email, write a short, friendly blog post about Adam and Sam's elopement in Austin, Texas. So of course, this is super helpful because we're getting a little bit more of a structure of like what we could even potentially write about. So pull whatever makes sense or that inspires you. And then of course, go in and customize it and make it your own. So we'll copy whatever we'd like, go to WordPress, and then you would paste that in right here. From there, we're gonna add the photos. So you can click the plus sign here or the plus sign here, click gallery. If you don't see gallery pop up, just search gallery. From here, we'll select the media library and I'm gonna select three photos, create new gallery. So within these galleries, they kind of auto populate. We also, if you click this negative space on the right hand side, you'll see block. This is where you could adjust columns and just have one image. I also have it set to crop photos, but if you go off, it'll be the photo size then. Then after that, I would go on to adding another gallery. And then sometimes I like to just do one image. So it's like a really nice, beautiful photo, kind of breaks it up a little bit. And then I would continue the process. So this way you'd get kind of a unique layout without it being so static. And then you'll just keep adding in your photos. We recommend 25 to 40 images for a blog post. And of course, be sure to reduce the file size. We always use JPEG mini. That helps reduce the file size without losing the quality of your images. And then you'll upload those into WordPress. We want the blog post to load quicker. So having a, a smaller file size helps that. Then down here, you're gonna see this is the Yoast SEO plugin. This is where we can have a key phrase. So I would do a main keyword here, um, Austin, Texas elopement. And then right down here for the SEO title, this can actually be different than this. So maybe here we could have their actual names with, I say Adam, and Sam. It's a little bit more personal, but then when we get down here, we could change this so that it is Austin, Texas, development by Lake Como. Here we'd write a short meta description. So that's something too. We could go back to chat GPT and be like, Write a short meta so I could pull this come back here and we're going to add the meta description it's just letting us know that this is going to be too long And I'm trying to add in our key phrase where it's a little bit more organic. A 
love. So it's kind of using the key phrase we have, but it's also enticing me to kind of click on that and learn more. Next, we're going to see the SEO analysis. From here, the literal like Yoast SEO plugin will tell you like what you need to add. So here it says add outbound links. So to do that, we're going to come up here and whenever you do an elopement or if you work with other vendors, your potential like dream clients could also be looking for other vendors. So that could be an easy way to link out to other vendors. So here we'll select it, click the link, paste in their URL. And then if we're linking to a new site, click open in a new tab. And then we'll click the blue arrow. This will be linked. If we scroll down, it says outbound links are good. So then we have to add internal links. This is also super helpful. So linking to your own contact page um, or even your experience page. So imagine this is within your site. You'll add your URL here. You can have open a new tab as well. This is going to be totally up to you. Either way is going to be fine with this one. We'll click the link. This knows um, it's not within our own website. So of course, when you actually add your own link, that'll be in here. And then you're literally just gonna follow like the rest. So key phrase and introduction. So it says it doesn't appear in the first paragraph. So we know our key phrase is Austin, Texas elopement. We can come out here and then add Austin, Texas elopement. And of course, you're actually gonna write this so that people can read it. And then text length, the text contains 15 words, is far below the recommended minimum of 300. So of course, this is in theory gonna be much longer. And if you do have more questions, like below here, all of these other links will take you over to Yoast where it gives you a more in-depth explanation and tips and what to do with internal links. So feel free to always check that out if you're really wondering. And then up here we have readability. If this is not green, it will literally tell you what to add here. Try not to get too caught up in this area. Um, just know you're gonna get better and better as you keep going. I know there's one thing down here with photos, the image key phrase. So to add the image key phrase, you're gonna select the photo and on the right hand side, you'll see the alt text. So this is where I would add your actual profession, like photographer or florist, um, videographer, something like that here. And then you'll, you'll add it to other photos as well or synonyms along those lines as well. So it could just be Texas elopement photographer. Alrighty, so next we will go over to the actual post itself. So here are the categories. This is where you're going to select the categories. So for the homepage, we have four on the homepage that need to have featured selected. However, you can also have other categories selected. So if it is also a wedding, be sure to have weddings selected as well. If we scroll down, we're going to set a featured image. So let's use this one. So our featured image, this is what we set in WordPress. When we look at our show it design, this is the featured image. And when we go to a single post page, this is also the featured image. Awesome. And then we can save draft. When we go to publish, we can go to immediately. This is where in the future you'd be able to actually schedule these out, which could be super cool. Um, of course, we're gonna want the four, at least on the homepage done by launch. And then we also, if we look at our blog page, we have two, four, six, eight. So that could be a total of eight blogs and it's going to be super beneficial to have your blog showcase your work as your portfolio 
it will be helping you in so many other ways as far as photos and your search engine optimization. From there, we'll click publish. I'm just going to save draft and then we can go back out to our WordPress account here. So then we will see our draft right here. This is where we could go back to editing or even quick edit. We could change the categories here. We could even change the status here and then just click update. When you do start to receive those comments, you will see those in here. This is where you'll be able to respond to them as well. If you do want comments on your single blog post page. All right. Lastly, if you wanted to add more blog posts to your actual blog page. So currently we have eight, but you could have more. So for this one, the design alternates. So I would grab post layout three. We will click duplicate. We'll drag this one down. We'll rename this one. So now we have two, four, six, eight, ten. From here, we're going to go back to WordPress. You're going to go to settings and then reading. Right here where blog pages show at most, we're going to increase that to 10 and then click Save Changes. If you want to add more, you can do that. You can simply just keep duplicating these canvases, adding them in, and then just be sure to come to WordPress, Settings, Reading, and Blog Pages Show at Most and increase the number here and click Save. And then if you add them in here, be sure to publish here too. I'll see you on the next one.